In this video, we will be working on a classic example that is a bungee jump. Um, in the lecture, we have introduced these three forms of mechanical energy. So that is the kinetic energy, Ke, equals half mv squared. And the gravitational potential energy, Pe, equals to mgh and the elastic potential energy of a spring so we write it as u it's going to equal half k x squared so k is the stiffness coefficient of the spring and x is the deformation of the spring it can be stretch and it can be compression okay so in this example we will see in this bungee jumping, uh, how these three forms of energy convert from one form to another. And in the end, we will use the energy conservation law to find the desired quantity. So first, let's look at the uh, question together. So we have a high platform that is 40 meters above the ground. And we have a jumper with a mass of 70 kilogram. There is a bungee cord attached to the jumper's body. And the jumper is going to run, going to jump from the platform. And obviously, we need to make sure that we have a strong enough bungee cord that can provide enough stretch so that the jumper won't hit the ground. And here we need to keep that when the jumper arrive at the lowest height, he is still 10 meters, at least 10 meters above the ground. So let's find the minimum spring constant K that is required for this bungee cord. Well, first of all, let's look at the, the bungee jump process. So first of all, when the jumper leaves the platform, he gonna fall, and initially this gonna be a free fall because initially the bungee cord is at rest so it cannot provide any stretch. So in this process, the jumper is falling. So the gravitational potential energy is decreasing. And in the meantime, the kinetic energy is increasing. And the potential energy of the bungee cord remains zero before it is stretched, okay? And when the uh, jumper falls by a height of D, which is the original length of the bungee cord, after the, that, the jumper starts to stretch the bungee cord, right? So he will keep on falling and start to stretch the bungee cord. So in this process, of course, the gravitational potential energy is decreasing. And since the bungee cord start to stretch the jumper and the jumper will start to slow down so the kinetic energy will dropping and the bungee cord will start to gain potential energy and finally the jumper arrive at the lowest height okay which is Z. And at the lowest height, 
the gravitational potential energy arrive at its minimum value. And at the lowest spot, the speed of the jumper is zero, so the kinetic energy is zero. And the bungee cord has the maximum stretch, so it has the maximum value. That's the whole process of the bungee jump. And we can see that in this process, these three different form of mechanical energy convert from one to another. So now if we want to solve the minimum spring constant energy, we will be using the energy conservation law. Why? Because in this process, only the gravity and the spring force does work. So the energy is conserved. So this gave us a big advantage that we can just look at the initial state and the final state. Because in this process, the mechanical energy is conserved. So let's look at the initial state and the final state. So here I put together a table to summarize the three forms of mechanical energy. So at the initial state, of course, the kinetic energy is zero because the jumper is still at rest. And here to look at the gravitational potential energy, we need to define our reference point. So for simplicity, we just define the ground as our zero gravitational potential energy. So when the jumper is at the platform, its gravitational potential energy is mgh. And because the bungee cord is still at the relaxed form, its potential energy is zero. So now let's skip the complicated process in the middle and directly look at the final state. So for the final state, the speed here is zero, so the final kinetic energy is also zero. And at the lowest height, it is z above the ground, so the gravitational potential energy is mgz. And for the elastic potential energy, we need to calculate the stretch of the bungee cord, that is x, right? So, At this point, the total length of this bungee cord is h minus z. That's the total length. And we have its original length, that is d. So the total stretch x should equal to the total length minus the initial length. Sorry, the original lens. So it is h minus v minus d. Right? So that is the elastic potential energy in the final state. So as we point out that in this process, only gravity and the spring force does work. So the energy is conserved. So the total mechanical energy should equal to the total mechanical energy at the final state. So let's plug in the numbers we find from the table. So initially, the kinetic energy is zero, and the gravitational potential energy is mgh, and the elastic potential energy is zero. Well, in the final state, again, the kinetic energy is zero, the gravitational potential energy is mgz, 
and the elastic potential energy is half k times the stretch square, so which is h minus v minus d square. So this allows us to find the symbolic expression of k, and if, if we plug in the numbers, we will obtain the spring constant for this boundary chord in the unit of Newton per meter.